What I'm going to show you now is a way of dramatically increasing the output of a Philips light strip controller. Normally, the Philips light controller comes with this already appended LED strip, obviously the key bit. And when you purchase it, you only get a couple of meters and it's permanently wired to the Philips light strip controller module here. The power supply is disconnectable from the controller, but the RGB light strip isn't. You can add to it using the connector on the end, but the additions are only a meter, I think, and they're quite expensive. So I wanted a much longer run of LED strip and I also wanted to use much more affordable LED strip. But there are several problems with achieving this. The first problem is that you can't get easy access to the controller. You have to break into the wires of the controller here. If we look just a little bit more closely, you'll see that I've stripped back the wiring that originally went to the light strip. But the most fundamental problem is the fact that the light strip power supply is only a 28 watt power supply. So however much LED strip you add to the controller, even if you add it yourself, the controller limits the output power to 28 watts. The solution is to get one of these things here. This is a MyLight LED amplifier. I'm looking a little bit more closely at it. And the purpose of that is to take the pulse width modulated signals from the Hue controller and amplify them so that we can use an additional power supply. And once we can do that, we can use a power supply with much more power, enough power to drive however long you want the LEDs to be. This MyLight controller will drive several amps on every channel of the strip. So we can then use a suitably larger power supply. But before we get into any more detail, let's actually see it work. I'll just change the room lighting down so that we can see what's going on. This is also a hue light. So over here on the iPad, I've got the individual scenes that they supply. If we look at concentrate, for example, you'll see this is hugely bright. And what I'm doing here is I'm using this external power supply, which is now supplying 24 volts at nearly three amps or 75 watts into two strips and these two strips here are one warm white and white strip which is a, an LED strip on its own and a second strip which is just RGB so what I'm doing is separating out the colour and the white that was previously combined together on the Philips LED light strip so that now we can do our own thing. The advantage of doing that is that quite often you just want powerful but controllable white light, in which case you could leave off the RGB strip. But sometimes we just want the whole thing. And by running these two strips in parallel, perhaps in two separate LED display channels, the extruded aluminium channels, you have the benefit then of being able to have reasonably similar colors to the hue setup but the full color range so let's have a look and see what it actually does if we select spring blossom you'll see now that the white and warm white strip has dimmed and now we've got the main color coming from the rgb strip and you notice of course the current has dropped right back off if we go to dimmed 
for some strange reason they seem to add a bit of green into this but that's their dimmed scene arctic aurora dims the white and warm white strip a bit farther and gives us quite a lot of blue and turquoise savannah sunset gives us a lot of red and night light is extremely dim now of course these colors will not perhaps be as perfectly matched as they are on the light strip that's supplied with the controller but as i say the benefit of this is that you can now run st strips as long as you like uh, th these are five meters so if we look and see at where this all goes the warm white and white strip is taking most of the power which is why i've left the rgb strip coiled up because that's not getting particularly hot but the white and warm white tape is nicely bright, which makes it ideal now for running under cabinets or under kitchen lights um, for actual lighting purpose. So there you have it really. Um, I'll give you a close up of the connections from the Hue light strip controller to that MyLight amplifier in a still at the bottom and I'll also include links to where I got the tape from and the rest of it really is pretty straightforward. Okay, hope you enjoyed it and go away and make some powerful hue light strips.